Yeah. 40 degrees Celsius. So it's like, what is that, 90 degrees Fahrenheit? Around that. Do you have to bolt, to like, tighten those down? Nope. Your bumper is, like, seriously in the way. A lot. <laughs> yep, there it is. Oh, not yet. You may do anything? Wow, that was easy. Get some cool out like getting out of here. On the other side of that jeep chassis, there's a box full of spill pads. Let's throw them there. Not the box, but a couple of spill pads. What did you say? On the other side of the jeep chassis, okay, here. Okay, there's it. a I box of spill pads. What are they called? Spill pads. Pig mats. Oink, oink. There you go. There's your engine. You've had that bag in your hand for five minutes. Are you going to pull them out? No. So you're wondering why we just pulled the engine out of the FRS, the if you're not first, your BRS. So a few months ago, I kind of did a thing where I turboed this FRS, and then a few weeks ago, I kind of did another thing where I blew up the FRS getting on the highway after I fixed an exhaust leak. Mike was in the car with me when it happened. It blew it up. I cried. He cried a little bit. <laughs> so we got another engine, we put it in there. It's slow as hell. So it's time to build it. So this center section is brand new. Uh, we are going to put a Ford bottom end together and we're going to throw as much boost as the GT28 Disco Potato will throw at it. And we're gonna see how much power we can make. So you guys can follow us along as we tear this engine down and then as we put it back together when we get it back to the machine shop. And then as we show you the little changes we made to the turbo kit or we're going to be making to the turbo kit to hold even more power than what I designed it for, which was not <laughs> 350, 400 horsepower that's probably gonna see. So, with that being said, go check out uh, when we built the turbo kit for it. It was a fascinating build. We did it something a little unique uh, compared to most FRS turbos. Uh, and you can go check out other videos that I put together engines, uh, see what we're really gonna be doing. Uh, this is a bit different because it is a boxer style engine. But make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit the little doorbell thingy that's like right down here uh, so that you get notifications when we upload videos. Cool.